Alrighty, welcome to Wayne's Lock Shop and LockReference.com. Today we're going to be installing a Norton 1601 series door closer in the parallel position. Previously, we've shown you how to install this closer in the regular position. This is going to be in the parallel position using the additional bracket. And you'll need to know how to install in both formats. Right now, we have the instructions taped up on the door as it's more convenient this way. You don't need to have a second set of hands if you tape those instructions up there. It will give you specific measurements of where your first hole goes. I don't have those measurements directly right in front of me, but they will come in your kit, and they are also easy to look up online if you look up the Norton 1601 door closer. Just look up the part number. You should be able to find a PDF. Once you have the first hole, both vertically and laterally, mapped out in the correct measurements based off of the degrees you need to have the door open, I usually start and average with the middle setting. So you'll have an A, B, or C, or an option 1, 2, or 3. I usually set things up in the middle dimensions, as this will give you the most optimum range. If you need a longer range, go ahead and use the one that you actually need. However, that's a good starting point for me. Now that the door closer is actually installed, you want to make sure that the second set of holes is directly the same uh, grid pattern and the same depth down so that the door closer is on a flat level playing field. Now we're installing the plate up above on the frame. This again will need to start with that first holes measurement and once you have that first hole measurement the rest of the holes will line up properly. Just make sure that everything stays nice and straight. Now that we have the door closer and the mounting bracket mounted, the door closer is mounted to the door and the mounting bracket is mounted to the frame, we are installing the arm now. Unfortunately, it's very difficult to get perfect camera position in here, so I do apologize about that. And one of the mistakes that can happen quite often is you install the door closer upside down. That's what happened here. It's a very, very simple fix. You simply unbolt it, flip it around, and then it will be in the correct direction. Very, very easy fix. I did not edit that out so that you could actually see how easy it is to fix that problem. If you go to hook your arm up and it's not rotating or turning or allowing the, the arm to turn in the correct direction, that is the problem you have and that is the easy solution for it. Now that we put the square onto the top of the arm, one of the things you need to know is you'll need a crescent wrench or vice grips to preload that square stud. I like to preload that square stud just enough to be able to grab that the bottom stud with the um, vice grips or the uh, wrench, the adjustable wrench, and then just enough to be able to get that to slip to the next one, and then I leave about a hand's width. So you'll notice I'm sticking my hand underneath that door lever. When we do that, that gives us the perfect spacing. For more information, scan this QR card and check out waynesloxshop.com. Apply today. Thanks.